Hello children, thanks for joining us. This is the Kampala Baptist Church Children's Time. You can always find this video on the Google Day TV every Sunday at 1.50 p.m. and on our YouTube channel, Kampala Baptist Church. We're glad you're here. As we start today's lesson, I would like you to first get on your feet and we first dance this song together. Thank you. There's no way that we can hurt it. children welcome back from that did we have fun dancing around okay I want us to go and look for our calculators do you have a calculator that you use at school go and grab it and we're going to do something together I have one here with me so I want you to do some additions with me do you have a calculator get it and then we'll start okay now we're going to do some simple additions. 2 plus 5 plus 6. Have you done that one? 2 plus 5 plus 6. What did you get? What, what answer did you get? Mine says 13. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, let's do another one. 5 plus 5 plus 3. Ah, oh, it's 13 again. Okay, is that what you got also, as well? Aha, uh -huh, let's try another one. 3 plus 5 plus 8. I got 10. Is that right? I think I made a mistake. So because I made a mistake, I'm going to take off. I'm going to delete and do it again. 2 plus 5 plus 8. I got 15 oh I had made a mistake and now I did the right thing 2 plus 5 plus 8 is 15 now you see with a calculator if you put in the wrong number you can easily press, press a button and delete and be able to do it all over again when you make a mistake you're able to rub it and take it away now children this week, we are going to learn about the, the, the word forgiveness, okay? Children, sin is anything we think, we do, or we say that does not please God. And the Bible says in Isaiah 43 verse 25, I want us all to open our Bibles to Isaiah 43 verse 25. And it says, I, even I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sins no more. Children, when we do things that do not please God, things that we say, things that we think, and things that we do that do not please God, the word of the Lord says that when we ask for his forgiveness, he remembers our sins no more. Children, just like we press the clear button to remove the mistake I made, the Bible says that when Jesus died on the cross, it's like God pressed a clear button on our sins, that our sins were wiped away, that when we believe in Jesus, that he died on the cross for our sins, and that he was the perfect sacrifice for our sins, we can ask him to take away our sins and have a clean white slate and just like we did on our calculator and remove the mistake i made jesus christ is the one who blots away our sin who takes away 
all of our sin. And so we do not have sin when we believe in him. Now children, God has promised to forgive your sin and promise not to remember our sin. When we, when we read in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, it says, If we confess our sin, He is faithful and just and will forgive us and purify us from unrighteousness, from all unrighteousness. And that means that if we go to God and tell Him we are sorry, He is faithful enough to forgive our sin for those things we think, for those things we say and those things we do that do not please God, we can go to him and tell him, Lord, I am sorry. And he will forgive our sin because he is a faithful and just God. But children, as Christians, we shouldn't continue sinning. We shouldn't continue living in sin because we have a God who forgives us. We need to be able to become better and better and better each day because we have a holy and perfect God we believe in. Isn't it, children? So, 1 John chapter 3, verse 9 says, No one who is born of God will continue to sin, because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning, because they have been born of God. Children, when we believe in Jesus as our personal Savior, we cannot go on sinning. We need to become better. But even when we make mistakes and sin, we can go to our holy God, our perfect God, and tell him we are sorry, and tell him to change us, and tell him to change our hearts, so that we are made white as snow, we are made clean. Okay? Children, I want to remind you of what we've learned today. We learn that Jesus forgives us. Jesus offers us forgiveness for our sin. He died on the cross so that you and me can have forgiveness. You and me can have a clean white slate. You and me can have the clear button pressed on our sins so that our sins are remembered no more, just like he says in his word, that he will remember your sins no more. Okay? I want us to remember that he died on the cross for us, for me and you. He died so that you don't have to live with the guilt of sin. He has forgiven you. Children, say, God has forgiven me. He has forgiven you. And because of what we've learned today, our memory verse is 1 John 1.9. And what does it say? I would like us to repeat it after me. Children, repeat the memory verse after me as we read it from God's word. 1 John 1.9. And it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from unrighteousness. Children, let's repeat it together. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1.9 1 John 1.9 if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Thank you children for listening. Have a lovely week. Bye-bye. See you next time on Kampala Baptist Church Children's Time.